A week ago today, H. Ross Perot was laid to rest. During his 89 years, the public watched the twangy North Texan build and sell businesses to the tune of billions of dollars. The nation got to know his policy thoughts during his two runs for the presidency. But there was much more to the man that we only knew through television and speeches uh, that we didn't know because that's all we knew. He ended up raising five kids with wife Margot. He lived his faith and he put his family first. Unless, as was told to me by his only son, Ross Jr., they were on a family ski vacation. He'd count his runs. And so you'd see him at lunch, he'd say, how many runs do you have? And so it got to the point where, so how many do you have? And I'd always be one or two below him, because right. if, if I was above him, he'd go out and ski harder. And I finally told the grandsons, I said, don't beat your grandfather. Just let him win. Competitive nature through and through. Later tonight on CBS 11 News, I sit down with Ross Perot's only son to talk about the side of his father that most of us don't know anything about. What he was like as a dad, as a husband, and a grandfather to 16. Some of the final words also shared between a father and a son.